In the section on qualitative variables, we saw how bar charts could be used to show the frequencies of different categories. For example, this bar chart shows how many purchasers of iMac computers were previous Macintosh users, previous Windows users, and new computer purchasers. Here, the bar chart shows the frequency of each category of iMac purchasers. As you can see, just over 350 were previous Macintosh users, about 60 were previous Windows users, and about 75 were new computer users. In this section, we show how bar charts can be used to present other kinds of quantitative information, not just frequencies. This bar chart shows the percent increases in the Dow Jones, Standard & Poor's 500, S&P, and NASDAQ stock indexes from May 24, 2000 to May 24, 2001. Notice that both the S&P and the NASDAQ had negative increases, which means that they decreased in value. In this bar chart, the y-axis is not frequency, but rather the percentage change, up or down. The next example will show that bar charts are very effective for showing change over time. Here you see the percent increase in the Consumer Price Index, CPI, over four three-month periods. The CPI represents how much typical consumer items cost. Which month showed the greatest increase? If you said January 2001, then you are correct. The smallest increase was in April. This bar chart makes clear the percent increases in CPI and their changes over time. Bar charts are often used to compare the means of different experimental conditions. This bar chart shows the mean time, measured in thousandths of a second, it took one of us to move the computer mouse to either small targets or large targets. On average, more time was required for small targets than for large ones. The mean for small targets was over 700 milliseconds, while the mean for large targets was a little over 500 milliseconds. Although bar charts can display means, we do not recommend them for this purpose. Box plots should be used instead, since they provide more information than bar charts without taking up more space. For example, a box plot of the mouse movement data is shown here. This graph reveals more about the distribution of movement times than does the bar chart just shown. To repeat, although it is common to use bar charts to display statistics such as means, it is better to use box plots, since box plots convey more information in the same amount of space. Mm -hmm.